Hi guys, it's your girl B Done, also known as the Healthy Ho, here to give you all news that is health and ho related. Now, I'm probably not going to be as chipper as I usually am because I am going to talk about Nipsey Hussle's passing and I'm very, very upset about it and it's, it's very, very sad and I didn't even think I'd be able to do this video because I thought that I would start crying, but it's been a few days and I'll make it through. So on March 31st, 2019, Nipsey Hussle was gunned down outside of his clothing store, the Marathon Clothing in South LA. He was a rapper, philanthropist, and a community activist. Now, people are saying that he was killed because it was gang related. Now, Nipsey Hussle had been affiliated with gangs since he was a teenager. He passed away at the age of 33. Almost, uh, he'll be 30, he would have been 34 later this year. Now, how in the hell did this man survive being in a gang since he was a teenager? Also, as a famous rapper, he went to the hood with no security, with an $80,000 Rolex on and $150,000 worth of gold chains. With no security in the hood and made it out every time. But all of the sudden, he was a victim of gun violence. Excuse me, gang violence. No. And also, the LAPD says that they don't believe it's gang-related, because it wasn't. So, Nipsey Hussle um, has done interviews, and he said that he was going to do a documentary on Dr. Seabee and how he was able to cure people of AIDS and about his court case in the late 80s, mid to late 80s, in New York City. So, Dr. Seabee was a natural holistic doctor. And he advertised in newspapers in New York and said that he could cure body ailments, cancer, AIDS, etc. So people came to him and he was really fixing people. So he was busted for practicing medicine without a license. And he was arrested, went to jail, everything. And he also won this and I believe this New York Supreme Court. Like he had to he had to file an appeal and he won. He brought in like 70 people to testify that he fixed them. So he won. People got mad. And do you really think the pharmaceutical company forgot that? Hell no. So um, Dr. Seabee was in custody, police custody for some reason. I don't think they ever said why. In Honduras about three years ago. And he passed away and no one knows why. Now... I'm not going to say why because I really don't know. You can connect the dots for yourself, but everything seems pretty suspicious. And um, Nipsey also said in an interview that people were telling him that he needed protection because he was going to do this documentary. And he said, if they kill me, y'all ride for me. So that lets you know that he knows he was doing something unprecedented and he was about to bring awareness to American health and the corruption with the big pharmaceutical companies. And he was about to bring this to a new demographic. He was going to have a whole demographic discussing this issue. And everyone knows that rappers and hip-hop artists have influence. If they say, oh, I'm drinking Tangeray, do you have any idea how much money Tangeray made off of gin and juice? They made a lot. If a rapper says something, it is law. And everyone knows this. So, I honestly believe that the pharmaceutical companies put a hit out on Nipsey Hussle. I really do. It was also reported on Infowars, so if Alex Jones made this connection too, it's very, very sad, but this man cannot have died in vain. And Nick Cannon decided to pick up the project and continue it, and he said they can't kill us all. So, like I said, rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle. We lost a real one. We lost an alpha male. We lost somebody who actually cared about his community. Someone who's making legit changes. So, I think that everyone should go look more into natural medicine. And look up Dr. Steve and look up the things he was talking about. And really do some more research. Because there's something that that man was about to tell the public that they did not want us to know. So make sure you like, subscribe, and comment below. And um, follow me on Instagram at 
v.healthy.ho. So once again, rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle. My heart goes out to your family. You guys have a good one.